Good morning. Hmm. Hey. I'm saying I know things and I'm speaking through my faith. What does that mean? Well, uh, I was speaking about eternal life. And I know because it's through my faith. Um, I think we'll have silence. Sorry, chat. I actually want to look something up. Rather, I have looked it up, eternal life. Um, my search in Bible Gateway found forty-five references. John's the best. <coughs> that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that Whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains in them. But whoever drinks the water, I give, I'm not going to read them all, I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. I knew they'd all be in John. This is just the last one. Uh, John seventeen three. Now, this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Amen. Faith. I was prepared this time. <laughs> Hebrews 11 and again I'm going to gallop through it's there for anyone who's interested enough to, to read it oh right Hebrews by faith now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. And then, by faith, without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. By faith, Noah. So, by faith, Abraham... So, obviously, Abraham bore children late in life. So it was his faith teaching him, and on it goes. By faith. And then the end of, of 11 is, these were all commended for their faith. So there's been a whole list of, people who've done wonderful things by faith. <clears throat> These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they meet, be made perfect. Amen. So, faith. Well, I mean... Great examples of legion, quite frankly. <laughs> Throughout all history, people believe in this, that, or the other thing in a minor way and stick at it, not knowing the outcome, looking, uh, as it were, possible disaster in the face and so on and so forth. Or 
dire consequences, and yet their faith says, right, I'm going to do this because that's what I have to do. And faith is a wonderful strength. It's a beautiful starlit night. There's Venus passing it. We could call it the morning star, but it has to be Venus. It's far too bright for a star. Uh, to the south. I'm in Annick, Northumbria, the northeastern corner of Ingoland, and it's just very pleasant here where I am. This drought has been mediated by some really good heavy rains, actually. I don't know what the actual rainfall in Northumbria has been till July, but a very great deal more than sort of southern England and France and elsewhere in Europe. So I was talking about eternal life and God was, God is, God will be. Never mind this little pimple of a planet we live on and our little sun, which is just a sort of medium-sized star in a galaxy of thousands of millions of other stars. And there are hundreds of thousands of millions of galaxies out there. And then 70% dark energy and another... 25% dark matter, and they don't really know what that is. And then there's string theory, which is fading as a concept, cosmological, astrophysical concept. And field theory, quantum field theory, so all life, in fact, is just waves. <laughs> Fine. Does it put food on the table <laughs> that's worth eating? Today, well, I'm a lucky old one. I have a stock of foozily little pasta thingies, which I'm afraid I've just cooked up as a little treat for later on. It's olive oil and such like. Tomato. Tomato. And sardines, actually. Hmm. Well... It is a troubled world. I mean, I listen to the news. It's so the old BBC World News, 2 p.m. There's an awful little man in America, the former president. Oh, his finances. I mean, he's gone bust and had huge losses. And, oh, financial shenanigans left, right, and center. He's an awful little man. And yet he seems to command this this huge support. It's unheard of. They've just raided his extensive palatial place. It's nothing. <laughs> Why can't people see that? The head of Russia has built this monstrous palatial place as well. Putin. Look at history. The Greeks, all empires in time will fall because they are of man. The only life that goes on to eternal life, whatever that means, is if you believe in God through Christ. There is no other way. So this is John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one shall come to the Father but through me. Well, that's a very hard teaching for all those of no faith or of any other faith. There it is. And as far as I'm concerned, Christ was perfect in everything he said and everything he did. Amen.
All you have to do is believe. And at the end of uh, chapter 11, yes, it may not come true in your lifetime. So, um, for instance, I spent an awful lot of time in St. Albans, the Cathedral and Abbey Church of St. Albans, looking long and hard, becoming a priest, in fact, through the High Church, Church of England, back in the 90s, I'm now 65, so in my early and mid-40s. And I've, I've utterly rejected them now. The Queen is the supreme governor of the Church of England, but she's the head of the army, so that is just wrong. From its inception, Henry VIII and so on, the Church of England, uh, its foundations are rubbish. Just the... the Nothing. It will just disintegrate. But there it was, and there I was, and by faith, and so on and so forth. Alban was martyred. That, I believe, is an historical fact, a Roman centurion. For his Christian faith, he knew he'd be martyred. He would have known as a Roman centurion, obviously, he has to obey the, the emperor, a human being of Rome. Chopped his head off, they did. That is the story, which I believe is historically accurate. And then, so 2,000 years later, we look around the world and Alban is venerated. Well, there are many instances of that. Yes, it would be wonderful to see the results of, of one's sort of faith in one's lifetime, but clearly that's not going to be. I mean, I don't know, Pennsylvania in America. So William Penn is the one I remember. There were other prominent members of the Pilgrim Fathers. 1620 on the Mayflower, off they went to lands new and unknown and uh, dangers and all the rest of it. But it was their faith keeping them at it. That's the point. So, wonderful faith. Just believe. And trust in the Lord. Amen. I'm having old monks back. <laughs> I'm afraid this is what I do. <laughs> Whatever it is. 20 to 3... Keeps me happy. <laughs> Just believe. 